Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli, and I'm in the backyard. My neighbor is uh, mowing his lawn, and airplanes are above my head, but I hope you can hear me. I wanted to be outside a little bit, out of the, out of the car, and today's topic is going to be a topic that's been discussed a lot since the, since the thought of Model 3 becoming uh, the main car for Tesla, and the question is, will Model 3 cannibalize Model S, Model X uh, cars. Um, and the best analogy, I have a couple of analogies, but the best one I can give you is the debate that Apple Computer had when Apple Computer uh, came out with the iPad, if you remember. <clears throat> and, um, and people ask, is, will the iPad cannibalize the, uh, the um, uh, iPhone, uh, the laptop, the desktop? And you know, uh, when you have a great company and they have a lot of great products, uh, sometime, and believe it or not, sometimes you'll buy a product even if you don't need it. Uh, you know, I have a couple iPads and I can tell you that I basically gave it to my, to my children. Uh, I bought it from the excitement, but they were not something that I needed. I know it's a very incredibly functional um, uh, uh, a device but uh, it's something that there is a niche for it in other words if you just think of the iPad the main functionality of the iPad that it's a reader it's a great thing to take on the road in business to a meeting and whatever and you can have something that's a little bit bigger screen you screen you can type right on it with two hands and it's a great communicator open files uh, send emails watch videos and the airplane that it's bigger than an iPhone uh, and so forth uh, so it has higher functionality than the phone lower functionality than the than the um laptop that you can create and and save a lot of stuff so it it, it has its function and it has its good and it did not cannibalize on the other products um same thing with the uh with the with other car manufacturers think about it let's just give to honda honda is a very popular car company there's a million hondas on the streets uh, but honda also produces the infinity luxury line uh, toyota one of the biggest uh, is the biggest car company in the world and they also do the Lexus. That doesn't mean if you buy, because you have the Lexus, you're not go, people are not gonna buy uh, the Toyota Camry. In other words, there is a market and there is a price range and there is a, a niche for, for all kinds of consumers and all kinds of levels. And that's the same thing with Model 3. Model 3 is the heart and soul of what Tesla, it's the duo that it's the rise and fall. It's this is what's going to be. The more they sell in the lower uh, price range, and if they can come up with a model that is even lower than that, that's what it's all about. Most people cannot buy Tesla Model S. Uh, even even used Tesla Model S are in the range of fifty thousand dollars so far. So most people, the overwhelming majority of people, cannot buy Tesla Model S, cannot buy Tesla Model X, cannot buy um, uh, Lexus uh, RX, whatever, because they are expensive cars. They are for is a group of people that in that economic uh, level that can afford this. Yet. Most people who eventually, uh, when Tesla Model 3 will go to the 35 and below, uh, hopefully, uh, model, then it will be uh, uh, for the masses, so to speak. You are still going to sell uh, maybe a thousand, two thousand, three thousand uh, Model S's a, a month. Uh, uh, throughout the United States. That's been the range of their sales, more or less. But uh, that's not going to say, oh, I'm a very wealthy person, so I'm, I'm going to not buy a Model S, I'm just going to buy a Model 3. Guess what? I have a lot of very wealthy friends, and guess what they do? They buy the Model S and the Model X and the Model 3. They do. I can. <laughs> I have videos on it. Uh, so uh, it, it's not going to take away from the other. Wealthy people can buy all three lines. People who cannot afford Model S and then they be able to for, for Model 3, then Model S is going to be irrelevant. It's, it's something that they cannot get anyway. So the more Model 3s, and as of the numbers now, Model 3 sold almost twice as many so far this year, and they had a late start. So far this year, almost as twice as many Model S and Model X combined, okay? So still the, the sales of Model S is, is, is the same and you sell what you sell and, and, and that's, what, that's what it's all about. So I don't think 
it's going to make any difference. And even if Tesla, and I hope Tesla come up with the $25,000 car uh, that really, I mean, I drove the Model 3. There is so much technology, technology there. I like it. I like it. Most people don't. Believe me, most people will take a beautiful 220 miles electric car with a navigation system. That's all they need. They don't need uh, autopilot and they don't need all these things. I mean, you, if you have the options to upgrade, you can. But most people don't need it. Most people don't want to pay for it. Most people can't pay for it. Okay, so uh, I think that the the, uh, the tiebreaker, the best thing that they can do is even cheaper uh, Tesla car uh, with basic technologies of what you need, and that's it. And and it will be adapted by the masses. A small SUV crossover will be amazing, amazing. But that's for another time. So tell me what you think. I always love your opinions and um, let me know if you think that the uh, Model 3 is cannibalizing Model uh, S and X. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. And you can buy some Electric Israeli swag on the Electric Israeli store. And I see you next time. Bye.